prayerful guided meditations with St Francis de Sales The ninth meditation deliberate choice of heaven If you are a beginner please go back to the previous episodes to learn more about how to meditate in the method that was taught by St Francis de Sales Some simple requirements for meditation The meditations are in one order so make the meditations one after the other Take only one each day as far as possible in the morning which is most suitable time for spiritual activities It is also advantageous to carry the reflections throughout the day Find a comfortable and a safe place where you will not be interrupted or disturbed You may sit on a straight back chair or on the floor legs crossed but make sure that you are sitting with a straight spine. The procedure of meditation. First preparation, second reflections or considerations, third giving vent to good movements of the will. and making deliberate decisions and fourth conclusion let us begin our meditation and i wish you a prayerful and fruitful meditation after choosing a place for your meditation Take a comfortable posture as mentioned earlier. Say to yourself that you are going to have a good and fruitful meditation. Always begin your meditation with a positive thought. And slowly withdraw your attention from your surroundings forgetting all your worries fears and start breathing gently give your complete attention to the air that you inhale that you exhale This is one of the methods through which you can keep yourself concentrated. Do this inhalation and exhalation for some time as you feel and recall the loving presence of God around you. God is present everywhere in every place only we need to give attention and feel and be aware of his presence Now knowing that our loving lord is present everywhere feel his presence around you and put yourself in that loving presence of god at the same time realize 
that God is in your heart as the heart of your heart the spirit of your spirit with your breathing exercise you keep concentrated on your meditation and through feeling the presence of god you elevate yourself into the divine realm in the previous meditations we have realized the god has created us out of nothing and he had a purpose for our creation and he blessed us abundantly and he gave us the realization of our sinful life and we know that one day we would die and depart from this world and we do not know at what time and we have also meditated on the final judgment where we will be separated like goats and sheep depending on on the book of the conscience that is on the life that we lived on this earth we have meditated on hell how those sinful people who lived unworthy lives on this earth will suffer in the hell we have also meditated on heaven that glorious city where all the angels will be praising god unceasingly now we know that we should amend our ways on this earth and make a deliberate decision to reach that heaven as you feel the presence of god ask him to help you and inspire you in this meditation with a good reflections and resolutions pray to him heavenly father having meditated on different aspects of my life today i meditate on the topic deliberate choice of heaven lord my god as i meditate give me the realization and the fruitful pleasures that i would enjoy by choosing heaven and discarding the hell lord this meditation give me realization and resolutions where i only work my way towards heaven while going far from the way that leads to hell pray to our lady our mother ask her to intercede for you ask her help in this meditation so that you would be filled with the suitable reflections pray to your guardian angel and the saints allow the following reflections sink deep into your heart and produce the good movements of the will humble yourself before god ask him to inspire you
imagine that you are in the open country alone with your guardian angel. God makes you to see heaven opened above with all the pleasures where angels praise God unceasingly, where they are delighted and filled with contentment by just looking at the face of God. On the other hand, He makes you to see the hell open below with all the torments, where those people are unable to come out of that dark city, where they are deprived of looking at the face of God, where they regret the life that they lived on earth. While imagining yourself in this situation and kneeling before your guardian angel, Be aware that in reality you are between heaven and hell. The one and the other is open to receive you according to the choice you make on earth. Realize that the choice which is made of the one or of the other in this world will last forever in the next. Even though the one and the other is open to receive you according to the choice you make, yet God who is ready to give you either the one by his justice or the other by his mercy, desire very earnestly that you should choose heaven. Your guardian angel urges you to do this with all his power, offering you on God's behalf a thousand graces and a thousand helps to assist you in the ascent. Christ looks at you lovingly from the heights of heaven and gently invites you, Come, dear one, to everlasting rest in the arms of my goodness, in the abundance of my love, I have prepared for you never-ending delights. See with your eyes of your spirit, Our Lady inviting you with a mother's love. Courage, my child, do not despise my son's desires, nor my great concern for you, since with him I long for your eternal salvation.
look at the saints who are earnestly request you and a million faithful who gently invite you only desiring to see one day your heart united to theirs to praise god forever they assure you that the way to heaven is not as difficult as the world claims it to be be daring our dear friend whoever examines well the path of devotion by which we have come here will see that we have reached these delights by means of delights immeasurable more enjoyable than those of the world these reflections sink deep into your heart and give give you a firm resolution to make your way towards heaven and discard the way that leads to hell and you say hell i detest you now and always I detest your torments and punishments detest your miserable unhappy eternity and especially the eternal blasphemies and maledictions which you vomit endlessly against my god heaven so beautiful everlasting glory happiness without end i turn my heart and my spirit to you i choose forever and irrevocably to have my home and my dwelling within your beautiful and holy mansions and your holy and longed for tabernacles God I praise your mercy and I accept the offer it pleases you to make me of it Jesus my savior I accept your everlasting love
acknowledge the purchase you have made for me of a place and a habitation in this happy Jerusalem not so much for anything else as to love and praise you forever. Accept the graces which Our Lady and the Saints offer you. Promise them that you will make your way to them. Hold out your hand to your guardian angel that he may lead you there. determined in making this choice. to the Lord, Lord, having realized the miserable life that I may experience in hell if I do not amend my ways on this earth, now I firmly determine to live a good and a happy life which is pleasing to you and reach your heavenly city. All the angels and saints, help me to live a life that is pleasing to my God and help me to decide firmly to reach heaven following the path that you followed to reach my great King. Make a firm decision 
to choose the way that leads to heaven. Seek the help of the Holy Spirit to inspire you every moment of your life to choose what is pleasing in the sight of God. Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. As you conclude your meditation and go about doing your daily tasks, remember the resolution that you have taken today. resolved to choose the path that leads to heaven. Make sure that every act and every word that you speak is pleasing in the sight of God and that is aimed at heaven. God bless you.